it begins with this quieting human cleverness and this humility that we may not know everything. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the beginning of biomimicry. To even just think about a tree as not just something that you lean against or get shade from or make into baseball bats at the end of its life, but you begin to think of it as, oh my God, it's lifting you know, thousands of gallons of water up from its roots silently with no motors. And each of those leaves have veins in them. They're distribution networks for fluids. And if you look at the mathematics of those veins, there's something called the Murray's Law. As it breaks into two, it drops down in diameter. And then as it breaks into two again, it drops down in diameter. And that's exactly a mathematical formula that also describes your lungs, your blood vessels, all roots, branches, the veins and leaves. If you can teach somebody that, they'll never look at that tree in the same way. That is mathematically the most optimal way to transport fluids to a three-dimensional space. I mean, it's just amazing. Why our plumbing doesn't look like that in our buildings is beyond me. It's because we didn't learn that, right?